Toyota has been working now for a number of years on an electric transmission. What I mean is a manual transmission for electric cars and hybrid cars. This is not the same as the pretend manual transmission that they've installed into some of their Lexus EVs already. This is an entirely different thing. It's a real manual transmission, sort of, in a way, that you can use in your EV or your hybrid. What do you think about this? I'm actually very, very intrigued. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. Just want to say a big welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel and welcome back to everyone else. Now, Toyota is working on this manual transmission. Uh, there's a report saying exactly what the details are. It's kind of complex, but I'll share with you. I'll break it down and make it as simple as possible. Toyota says that car enthusiasts should be rejoicing because they're bringing a manual transmission to vehicles that don't need one. Did I just say that? Yeah, well, that's what's happening. Hybrid vehicles are here to stay, according to Toyota. Uh, there'll be no getting rid of them because Toyota is almighty and all powerful. And consumers, apparently Toyota believe, would prefer a hybrid over an EV. Toyota is working on a manual transmission that will work with electrified vehicles of all types. This a patent discovered recently by US website, The Drive, says that Toyota is working on a manual specifically for hybrids and EVs with a clutch that can be controlled by the driver or by the car's computer. The patent, which was submitted in August 2021, has only recently been revealed, and it shows the engine delivers or cuts power to the rear wheels using a clutch, potentially allowing the electric motor to drive the wheels, reducing the level of input required by the petrol engine or if there's no petrol engine at all, then it would work a bit differently. Now, rather than relying on a drive-by-wire system to control the clutch, meaning an electronic signal being sent to an actuator, the system still uses a clutch master cylinder with two secondary slave cylinders, one controlled by the computer and one controlled by the driver. In other words, the computer can drive the car as an auto, or you can take over and drive the car as a manual. So Toyota would probably say you're getting the best of both worlds here. It's believed this would allow the driver to engage the clutch at any point, regardless of whether the car's computer has already done so. In other words, you got a fake clutch, like a pretend clutch, but a real manual override. It's basically like having an automatic transmission like we have today. Say you got a ZF8 speed automatic in your car and you can move the transmission across and you know shift gears yourself. It's that kind of thing, really. So it's not really a full manual. It's sort of like a half manual with a pretend clutch to make it feel like it's a real manual. Curiously, Toyota appears to have used a silhouette of the Supra Coupe of the 1990s on its patent sketches to illustrate the approximate location of each component in the car, says drive.com.au. However, though, while there is likely to be a use case for a manual transmission in sports cars, According to the mainstream media, I don't think there will be personally at all, but anyhow, you never know. It's possible the system could eventually make its way into hybrid commercial vehicles like the Hilux, Ute, High Ace van, and possibly Toyota's SUVs as well, a segment where manual transmissions, they say, are still in high demand, particularly in overseas markets. Now, the problem with this idea is that the reason manual transmissions are in high demand in overseas markets, and I've often wondered this because I've spent a lot of time in Southeast Asia. I've lived in Taiwan, obviously living in Thailand now. We've been in um, Indonesia quite a lot. And the reason that I'm curious is because I've seen a lot of cars there, in particular Toyotas, with manual transmissions. So I've often asked taxi drivers or people that I've met, why, do you have a, why did you purchase a car with a manual transmission? And they often look at me like with a puzzled face like, I don't understand the question you're asking. It's obvious what the answer is. The answer is cost. Manual transmissions are cheaper. It's cheaper to buy one. That's the key reason. They don't tend to buy them because they want a manual transmission because it feels fun and sporty. They buy it because it's cheaper. Now, if Toyota, add, Toyota adds this, this complicated man, quasi manual transmission with a fake clutch to your car, it's not gonna make it cheaper. It's just adding a component. It's adding parts to a car that the car doesn't actually need 
for it to work. So I don't really see how this addresses that market of people buying cars. I mean, obviously Toyota is hoping to keep its market share where it's, it's not losing market share in Southeast Asia today. In fact, it's gaining market share. It's losing market share in places like China. Another Toyota patent for a manual transmission designed to work in an electric vehicle surfaced in February of 2022. This was followed by a video in December of 2022 showing an electric Lexus UX 300E being driven as a manual. However, that manual is, like I said, it's a pretend manual transmission. It doesn't actually do anything. It makes noises and things and, you know, it's, but it's really like a toy thing. It's really just for a bit of fun. It's a, it's, it's a gimmick, but if you want to see more about that, manual transmission for electric cars, which Lexus spent a lot of money developing. I'll put a link in the description to my video about in that vehicle, in the Lexus UX electric vehicle, the driver can select between battery electric mode or between a simulated four cylinder or V8 engine. So it pumps noises into your car and you can pretend that you're shifting in a V8 or a, or a, or a turbocharged four cylinder vehicle. I find it utterly ridiculous, but who knows, maybe some people will have some fun. And if you have fun with it, that's great. So if you're going to go buy an EV personally, what I want to know from you is, would having a pretend manual transmission or a quasi manual with a fake clutch and the ability to actually drive it like an automatic transmission with the, the sports shifting, would that make you want to be more compelled to buying that particular car? Do you think Toyota's investment into this technology makes sense? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.